Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome. Today I'm looking at the Daring. Yes, the Daring. I don't unfortunately have the Druid because it costs research points and I've been spending my research points on things like the Ohio. And I'll be honest, I've just blown the rest of my research on flags. However, we're at another double. So uh, as soon as my research, my XP gets to about 13, 1400, I'll be able to get some more research points which I'll also be spending on the Golden Lion Legendary Mods. So, <laughs> the grind is real, people. The grind is real. Anyway, back to the topic of the Daring. She's a lovely ship. Been in the uh, game for a while now. Um, how would I equip this ship? Well, in slot 1, I'd go with Main Armaments Modification 1. In slot 2, I'd want to enhance her already pretty damn fine Hydro uh, to buff it by a further 20%. If you can't afford this for coal then no problem, just take engine room protection, okay? All right, until you can. And in third slot, I go with aiming system modification one, fourth slot, steering system gears modification one, because she's got some of the best acceleration in the game because she's a Royal Navy destroyer, so she doesn't need the acceleration mod. So we might as well take full advantage of that and give her some really good steering. I mean, that gets her rudder shift down to 3.7 seconds, which is excellent. Her maximum speed, unfortunately, is about 36.8. That's with the speed flag, but her acceleration is top of her class. Okay, in slot 5, we've got Concealment System Modification 1 to bring the concealment down to 6 kilometers. Not great, not, not terrible. Fairly competitive. And then finally, in the final slot, we go with Main Battery Reload Time Reduction of 12%, or Main Battery Modification 3, because... Her guns are her bread and butter, as it were, although her torpedoes are quite strong too, but they do have quite a long cooldown. So if we look at that, torpedo tube reload time is 125 seconds. Okay, torpedo range is 10 kilometers. Uh, those torpedoes do about 62 knots, so, you know, not terrible. Okay, so you can see she gets heals, she gets hydro, and she gets these short burst smokes, which last about 40 seconds with the X-ray pupper flag up. That increases that by 10%. So let's have a look at the captain build. What have we got here? Okay, this is really very much how I play her in ranked. Okay, this is a ranked captain build for her. Although I'd say she's quite good in random with this, especially for, dis for hunter destroying because I've added RPF here. Uh, I tend to take that a little earlier. Uh, I'll, I'll explain the build. Okay, first line I go with preventative maintenance. Second line we go with last stand. Third line we go with survivability expert. And fourth line for your first 10 points, concealment expert. That's your first 10 points, okay? Pretty classic stuff. Most destroyers start like this. And then you take adrenaline rush. After that, I then jumped to RPF because the sooner I know about uh, map location and where people are, the better, okay? I think RPF is important enough to take as your sixth pick. Uh -huh. And then after that, I go with main battery and AA specialist to improve the reload time on the guns and make her AA a little bit more competitive. It's not great, but uh, it gets a AA value up to 54. And then I finish personally. It's personal preference time with your last point. You can take any of these. Uh, there are no bad choices here, really, although I don't think you really need gun feeder. I'd go with consumable specialist purely because I like to get my smokes back quicker and I like to get my hydro back quicker. Okay. Any particular weirderies about this ship? Well, I can explain this. I mean, the detection is three kilometers. Detection of ships is three kilometers on the Royal Navy Hydro. But the important thing about it is how long it lasts. If you look at the consumable action time, you get over three and a half minutes of hydro, which is pretty competitive, right? And a cooldown of just over a minute, 111 seconds. So you get these pretty much for the most of the match. You will be having hydro up, which is very useful indeed. Gives you a lot of detailed information. Okay, looking at her guns, you can see that the reload time is very competitive, 2.3 seconds. Uh, the, the turn time is 8.3 seconds, which is great. The dispersion is not so great, 103 meters, but we've taken this mod to help with that. And then uh, maximum range is 12.8 kilometers. You're an ambush destroyer. The, the play style is very much hit and run, hit and run. And uh, in the next, uh, in, in the match, which comes after this review, I'll show you how she works, okay? Assuming that I survive it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Um, chances of causing fire on the HE is 8%, and velocity on the shells is 746 meters a second. Uh, hit points wise, she's got 24,300. Uh, depth charges, standard, pretty strong. Okay, let's take her for a spin. Okay, I'm in the daring, it's hot spot. I'm doing mode shuffle, and it's arms race. Interesting map hotspot. I do like this map, I have to say. Uh, there's some good island arrangements, and uh, although the middle's to be avoided unless you like open water stuff. Okay, no, no carriers, no submarines. Interesting. Moskvas, two Moskvas to worry about. Some uh, six kilometer hydro from the German Kurfürst and Hindenburg. All right. Noted. Okay, I'm going to head down to the uh, reload buff at uh, G7. Pondering the RPF there. Now, there are two Shimikazes to think about in this match, and so my suspicion is at least one of them is going to try and flank us. I'm going to keep half an eye on my flank. Napoli's heading that way. Hmm. But the buffs are this way, mate. The buffs are this way. Follow me. I'm your spotter. You get lit, you're going to have to use one of your smokes, aren't you? Yeah, that Sherman is doing nothing. I mean, honestly, what is he doing? I mean, he's pink, sure, but... He's having a bit of a wobble, isn't he? Pretty sure he's AFK or something like that. Okay, on with the match. Alright. Definitely something up ahead. Moving down the 9 line, or possibly the 10 line. Okay, the Napoli's come over to join me. I'm going to guess he was spotted by something. Probably whatever that is. Could be a destroyer. I've noticed the uh, Loria is picking up the buff for us, so I didn't need to do that. So I'm now focusing my efforts on that flank. Definitely something there. We shall investigate. Gonna see if I can light any ships in the gap. Uh, he's tracking. We're tracking on that. Is he zigzagging? Could be zigzagging. Okay, there's a Hindenburg. Alright. Okay, Kerr first has just appeared above me. Okay. Both Moskvas are on the other flank, which is great. That means I don't have to worry about radar, which is awesome. Okay, there's an Izumo with the Hindenburg. Okay, so they're taking this flank quite seriously. And it looks like our SAS is AFK as well. So we've got two ships AFK. Oh, this fun times, right? Fun times. Sherman and our SAS are both AFK. <gasps> oh, goody. And something just smoked up in front of me. Why did he smoke up? If that's a Shimakaze, he's got better spot than me. Oh well. Alright. Yeah, there he is. Going backwards. And now going forwards. Okay, well I'm very aware of the fact that his torpedoes can practically one-shot me, so we're just going to reverse up a bit.
I would normally chase him into the smoke using my Hydro, but he's backed up by the Hindenburg and the Azumo, and they'll make a nasty mess of me if I'm not careful here. In fact, to be honest, I'm all on my own on this flank. It would have been nice to have the Alsace with me. They're focused on the Alsace at the moment, because the way they see it, it's a free frag, right? But now the Hindenburg's got... I mean, I've got the Hindenburg's attention. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Yes, and the Shimakaze's moved out. Okay, so we're going to smoke up. Hindenburg's firing on me. Okay, got one small chip to my nose, my bow. Hmm, I'm terrified of the torpedoes, if I'm honest. Here they come. Okay, the angle on those isn't too bad, actually. I'm pretty safe here. What is it with this island? I've beached myself. Oh god. Okay, Nishima's swung to my right side. Probably getting ready to torpedo again. I'm glad he hasn't got RPF, to be honest with you. If he had RPF, I'd be very worried, because you probably know exactly where I am. And send some torps into this smoke here. There he is. Okay... Hopefully, I'm out of line of sight now of the Hindenburg, and I can duel the Shimakaze down without having to worry too much about getting shot by a cruiser. Right. All right, he took one of my front guns. Wow. Okay. Harsh. Having to use the rears as well. Here comes the Hindenburg. Oh, this is bad news. This is bad news. I want the Shima before I go dark. Yeah, got him. Okay, now I can go dark. Alright. Unfortunate. Hydro was on cooldown, but he, was, uh, he wasn't close enough anyway. Quite short range, the British Hydro. Only about three kilometers. Three and a half, something like that. Uh, i got to watch out for those torpedoes. And the gearing's having a crack at me. Okay, that's nice. At least I know where the gearing is now. Blimey. Was it worth it? I don't think it was worth it, was it, really? I think we think we'll just uh, spam our swear button, because I'm pretty pissed off about that, really. Had the Alsace actually been in the match rather than AFK, things might have turned out a little different. My friend in the Napoli came to assist, which is great, but it's got him killed. Damn it. Zumo took him out. Basically, they got a hell of a lot more ships here than we have. And it doesn't help when you've got people AFK like the Sherman over there. He would have been useful. Um, and the Alsace. Can't stress that enough. <laughs> Typical game of World of Warships, right? <laughs> yeah. But we got the Shima. Yay! We got the Shima. We got 2,836 health left. God. Okay, so from now on, I've basically got to play this boat like a torpedo boat and forget doing any gunship antics unless I'm smoked up or behind an island. No open water for me. Okay, Hindenburg's chasing. That's nice. And our team has picked up one buff, the reload buff. They've got regen, they've got higher hit points for their ships, they've got reload, and they've got damage buffs. They've got all four buffs. We've got one. The reload buff. Twice. Two reload buffs, but e even so, they've got two regen buffs. One hit point plus buff, two reload buffs to match ours, and one damage buff. Okay, so anyway, I need to pick some buffs up for the team, don't I? Now we've got all the reload buffs. Okay, great. Yeah. Do have a regen buff. Yep, someone picked that up. That's good. As if by magic. And I'm lit. Ah, uh, gearing. Gearing's chasing me. Okay. This could be problematic. What's he doing? What's his gearing doing? <laughs> you want to die, sir. You want to die. Because I'm happy to oblige you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's down. Loria got him. Alright. 
and he launched into my smoke okay not the best play from the gearing there really yeah I'm gonna drop some tops for the Izumo or Izumos the Izumo brothers oh god Four thousand five hundred and thirty health. Jeez. Just another average day in World of Warships. You know, I'm kind of glad I was in the daring there because I needed the health buff. To be honest, the health or the heals were very useful there. Even though I've used both of them, it kept me up. I was definitely being daring. <laughs> Maybe a little too daring. I, I didn't realize quite how many ships they had there. They, they had a lot of ships there, didn't they? And we had AFKs. In fact, the Sherman's still sat there AFK. He's going to get run down eventually. I think the Hindenburg's heading his way, so... He seemed to be an ex-Sherman. He would have been useful to have in this match. Having to carry two AFKs has not been fun so far. Okay, we've increased the hit points of the fleet. Now we're going to go and pick up the damage buff. I want to match you guys buff for buff, really. I mean, I'm the only one picking up buffs here. I say that. That's not entirely true. Other people are picking up buffs. They're just not doing it quite as rapidly as I am. Not sure what, what our Hayat was up to. I'm guessing he was sinking ships. Sinking ships along the 1-2 line. Sorry, if I sound a bit gloopy, and you know the Stalingrad video I did earlier? Um, if I sound a bit off in that, it's because I'm really suffering from hay fever at the moment. I've got this gloopy stuff, and I've got an ear infection, and I can't hear in my right ear. <laughs> so, uh, normal uh, commentary will continue, hopefully, in a week or two. But, yeah, I'm feeling a bit rough at the moment. Got a bit of a sniffle going on. Yeah, hay fever. It's that time of year again. Hi, it's just smoked me, which is nice. Okay, I like this guy. We are going to make beautiful music together. The music of HE spam. I need you to get out of that smoke now, though, mate, and like that uh, Wisconsin for me, please. We got the Izumo brothers coming across. I don't think those torps got anywhere, did they? What a shame. Okay. I'm gonna fire on the curve first. At least with Adrenaline Rush, I'm getting, what? Sherman levels of reload here. <laughs> Less than a second. 0 0.7, 0 0.8, something like that. 0.8, yeah. There he goes. Okay, now move on to the Izumo. Are those shells literally going over there? What the hell is going on with my shells? They're all shattering off his 50mm uh, steel deck, aren't they? Yeah, that's the thing about Izumo. She's got a really small superstructure, so she's not the easiest thing to farm. She's kind of already on fire, though, so I'm going to try and hit her superstructure. There we go. There we go. Into the superstructure. That's more like it. See, she was already on fire, so I felt the HE was a waste, but now she's put those fires out, I think it's time to put her on fire again, right? I mean, it'd be rude not to, okay? <laughs> oh! Oh! Something hit me! Oh, no, 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 no! Something shot at me in smoke! Was that a Wisconsin? Does Wisconsin just have a cheeky cr crack at me? Honestly, I do believe he did. All right, he's gonna throw some torps his way. I doubt any of those will hit, but we'll see. Uh, I'm down to 1,234 health. Great, great. <laughs> Should have stayed in bed. Okay, he's burning. Yeah, he's burning. I got him well lit there, and that's a perm fire, so that's good. Anyway, we're gonna move up to the edge of this island, and then what I'm gonna do is use the island to uh, allow me to free farm the Azuma. Those torps look good, actually. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo. Ha-ha. 
Nice. Right, let's see if we can set the Wisconsin on fire. Okay, we seem to be turning this into a match. I, I honestly thought it was all over when uh, I got hit by the Hindenburg uh, whilst trying to take out their Shimakaze. I really did. I thought I thought I wasn't going to escape that, if I'm honest. If I didn't have the heals, I don't think I'd have got out of that alive. That's what I love about the daring. You can pull off maneuvers like that and sometimes get away with it, right? <laughs> She's a great ship for that. She's a good all-rounder. Uh, probably one of the best all-rounders in the game, to be honest with you. It's like having a little mini cruiser, isn't it? With heals. Okay, we're going to switch to the AP now. She's burning nicely, so... And she's showing a lot of broadside. Getting some good damage numbers down. This is good. We should be able to get her. Maybe not. She's right. She's going fast, isn't she? And he's healing. Yep, oh, we got him. Excellent, excellent. Wow, what a match. What a match. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh... He who dares wins. He who dares wins. My goodness. Okay, that was that was incredible actually. My pulse is racing. 2312 XP. I'm impressed with that. Didn't the Jinan do well? Hyatt did good stuff as well. Um, and we had two AFKs and yet we still won. Awesome. 47k on the Azumo, 19k on the Shima, 4k on the Kerfus, 44k on the Wisconsin, 10k on the Gearing, uh, 98,600 with the main battery, 17k with torpedoes, 14k with fires and floodings. My name's Lone Gun, and this has been The Daring. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you.